I'm sorry you overheard that, and they're sorry they said it. But you don't just get to quit this, Eleanor. This is not your seventh grade band or three hours into a two-week juice cleanse. A little more at stake here. Yeah, man, that's why I'm quitting. The things that are happening here are above my pay grade. How do I get Brent to stop being such a deckhead? How do I fix Simone when she's convinced all of this is happening inside of her brain? Ooh, maybe I should drive her into the arms of my ex-boyfriend. That sounds fun. What do I do about John the Gossip King or the demon spy who punched me in the face? And how do I do it all with a pleasant smile to keep everyone's spirits up? I'm not meant for this. I'm not the freaking savior of the universe. I'm just... a girl from Arizona. That's it. I'm just a normal girl from Arizona. I ate junk food. I watched reality shows. I sometimes left H&M wearing more underpants than I had on when I came in. I did a bad job of being in charge of my own life, and now I'm supposed to be in charge of everyone else's life? I... I cannot do this. When I started my experiment, I thought four broken bird brains who will believe everything I tell them. This will be a breeze. You beat me in three months. Okay, fine, I thought. A fluke. You then beat me 800 more times. Because human beings, it turns out, are weird. And I will never truly understand what it's like to be one. This is a job for a human. One who's tough, but also empathetic, and has a big heart and a world-class bullshit detector. You think you can't do this? Eleanor, you're the only one who can do this. Like it or not, the only one who can save humanity is a girl from Arizona.